Hi. Now in this question, we've got to find the range of a function. We're given the functions f and g are defined for all real values of x by f of x equaling x squared plus 4ax plus a squared and g of x equaling 4x minus 2a where a is a positive constant. And we've got to find the range of f in terms of a. So if this is a question you haven't done and want to have a go, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready, and I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now to find the range of f in terms of a, f being a quadratic expression means that what we can do is complete the square with it. And I'll show you that way. There's also another way where we consider stationary points. But uh, first of all, let's just take f of x and complete the square. Now, f of x would be equal to, and what we do is we have a bracket, okay, put an x there, and we halve the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 4a, so if we halve that, that's going to be plus 2a and then we square this bracket. And what we get would be x squared, that would be that one, and then we would get twice the product of the two terms, the product is 2ax, and if we double that, you get 4ax, that term there, but you're going to then get plus 4a squared when you square that term out. And to end up with a squared, we're going to need to subtract 3a squared from that 4a squared. Okay, so if you were to expand that, you would end up with x squared plus 4ax plus a squared. Now once you've got it in this form, we can state that the range is immediately for f of x greater than or equal to minus 3a squared. And that's how quick it is. But you might be wondering, why is it that? Well, basically, it just works off transformations of graphs. If I just draw you our axis, x-axis and the y-axis. Now we think of this as the graph, first of all, of y equals x squared, which is going to be a parabola looking, say, something like this, passing through the origin and going up like that. And what we do to this graph of y equals x squared is we're looking at replacing the x with x plus 2a. And because a is a positive constant, this term is going to be positive. And what that does is it translates the graph 2a units to the left. Okay, so we'll imagine that's 2a units to the left. And then with minus 3a squared, that translates the graph 3a squared units downwards. But before I just pull this down and just put it like in any position, what we want to be sure of is where does this curve cross the y-axis when x is 0? Well, when x is 0, you can see it crosses at a squared. So a squared, a being a positive value, a squared is going to be positive. So the graph is going to get pulled down so that this point here is still positive. So... What uh, points have we got? Well, this point here is going to be minus 2a because we pulled it 2a units to the left. And then we pulled the graph down 3a squared units. So this is going to bottom out at minus 3a squared. This point here is a squared. That's when x is 0, the value here. OK? Or you could put x equals 0 in here get 4a squared minus 3a squared, that's a squared. But when it comes to the range, the range will be all the y values, let's just mark it in, going from this lowest point, which is here, okay, all the way up in the y direction, okay, like so. So in other words, these are going to be values, f of x, in other words, is going to always be greater than or equal to minus 3a squared. Okay, so that's one way that we can do that. The other way is to work out 
what the minimum point of this positive parabola would be. We know it's a positive parabola because it's got x squared, so it's a u shape. And we just want to know where it bottoms out if we didn't do it by completing the square. So we need to find the stationary point. So that requires us to do some differentiation. So we'll put f of x down again as equaling x squared plus 4ax plus a squared. And then if I differentiate this in the usual way, f dash x or f prime x, that's going to give us 2x plus, and then for this term, 4a. This will go to 0 because a is a constant. So we know that at the stationary point where it would bottom out, OK, let's just put that in. At the stationary point, we know that f dash x must equal 0. And so therefore, 2x plus 4a must equal 0. And with this, if we subtract 4a from both sides, we get 2x equals minus 4a, divide both sides by 2, and you end up with x equaling minus 2a. And that agrees with what we had here. But remember, at this stage, we don't technically know that the corresponding y value, if you like, or f of minus 2a, we don't know it's minus 3a squared. We need to work it out. So we would therefore do f of minus 2a. Substitute for x as minus 2a in here. And if we just write that in, we've got minus 2a all squared plus 4a multiplied by minus 2a plus a squared. And what does this give us? Well, this gives us 4a squared. And here we have minus 8a a squared and then plus a squared and that turns out to equal minus 3a squared. So therefore again if we use this method okay we know that the range for f of x is basically f of x is greater than or equal to minus 3a squared. All right? So I prefer this method for this one but uh, essentially, you've got to always appreciate, though, what the graph looks like, I feel, when you're doing range questions and domain questions. Sketch your graph, and from the graph, you'll be able to see or work out, essentially, what the range is going to be. Okay?